Hi everyone, I'm Layla and I run the blog What Layla Loves where I focus on fashion and style, beauty and lifestyle content. So if that is of interest to you, consider subscribing, um, hit the notification bell so you get to know when I upload a new video and like the content of course if you enjoy it. Um, if you are new, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, it is so good to have you back. Let's get into the video. session welcome we're gonna talk about leather pants leather bottoms yeah um here's the thing I wanted I really wanted to do this and I thought it was important because I am a curvy girl right I'm what I guess they now call mid-size sometimes we're curvy sometimes we're plus size sometimes we're mid-size you know a little juicy I more than anything on my lower half I'm a, a whole different sort of like my lower half is a whole other ball game as opposed to my top half and so I got some thigh real estate, I have some juicy thighs, and I never, ever thought I could fit or style or pull off leather pants and leather bottoms. So I wanted to style these for you guys today in style sessions five different ways, and I think there's something for everybody. So let us get into styling these. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite, and if you've been intimidated by leather pants before. Let's start with the most basic of basics. All I'm wearing is a long line tank, and some Reeboks, some classics, um, and it, it does not get any simpler, any easier, any more casual than this. And so I think we could play up this a little bit, and I'm gonna go with like a, a trench, but like a sleeveless trench. And you could do an actual trench if where you live is still not warm enough to wear a sleeveless one. You could do a vest. Um, here we go. A third piece like this is essential for like leveling up your casual style because it just adds a little something into it. And then I love this. I did this in my previous video. I do this all the time. I do two color outfits or three color outfits if there's no print on. So this is basically three colors and I could have very easily put on a black vest with this, which I have, but then I feel like that wouldn't look as good as this. Well, at least I think it looks good. And you could add some sunglasses too. Yeah, I styled all of these looks for you and took amazing photos. So if you just go to my website, you'll see all the photos. But yep, there we go, look number one. Now this looks really good with these classics, but I'm gonna switch it up and throw in some heels and I'll be right back. Heels with it, I just have some simple black strappy heels. They seem to go away, <laughs> to go with everything, so don't mind if you see them in almost every video. Um, and I think this looks pretty great too. You could throw on the sneakers during the day, throw on the heels at night. It gives you some versatility. What do you guys think? I like this one a lot. And if you really wanted to, you could throw on something like a bucket hat. And that would take things up a notch too. All right, let's get on to the next outfit. Here we go. This looks like just a, this simple t-shirt and leggings. This t-shirt is still available. It's an extra large. And all I'm going to do with it is just like fold it over just like that and I like to leave it a little bit longer in the back than I do in the front when I fold it you could tuck it in if you wanted to but I'm fan of that you don't really have to tuck in things you could just fold them and there you have it I really like this one actually I think it's one of my favorite looks of the five There is nothing like a graphic tee and leggings. Well, leather leggings, actually. I like the sort of punk rock look with um, a, tea, a graphic tee and leggings, and then you can jackstar it with some uh, strappy heels instead of like boots, because that goes a little bit far from me and my personal, personal style. I like to keep a little bit of femininity, so that's why I have the sandals. 
<laughs> what do you guys think? Now, if you are wearing this um, outfit and it's a little cooler where you are, this might be much for some people, but for me, it's everything. You could also put a leather jacket over your shoulders. Just like that. Or this would not work for me right now because it's hot. But it might work for you. What do you guys think? There is a reason that um, white sneakers are, I was gonna say a summer staple, but it's not summer, it's all year round. And I actually think they look beautiful in winter too against dark outfits. Um, but here we go. You can take off the heels and just wear it with your white sneakers, whatever it is. These are the ones I've chosen. And I think it looks pretty darn great. Now you could do the same thing, wear it with a hat or without. Just choose and pick whatever fits your lifestyle and whatever is going to empower you to have the best day possible and like just get through your day feeling good and looking good but being comfortable as well, you know? Here's another look. This is the third look and this is a little different for me. I don't know. I am not in love with my arms so I don't tend to wear tops like this. But I did think it was important that I include like a stripe neutral look because I'm not, I know a lot of people are a fan of um, stripes, especially like black and white. And I think it turned out good. I'm wearing it with some neutral like brown cognac wedges. And I think it just kind of still remains neutral and it's not a pop of color, although you could totally do like a pop of color with this and it would be great. But I thought I'd leave it neutral and I would add some of Fedora. I wanted to include this because I feel like this will speak to somebody because there are people out there who live by black and white stripes. I, not so much, but I think this is kind of getting me there. <laughs> Now I know I said the casual Tupac t-shirt one was my favorite, but I think this one might actually be my favorite favorite. <laughs> I'm wearing a silk cami, like a silk and lace cami underneath, and I just put this like long pleated cardigan over it with these black heels. This I feel like is so sexy. like summer evening it gets cool in the evening sometimes depending on where you live you can wear it like all the way if you wanted to that'll be cute or you could put it down one shoulder and that'd be cute too. I really like that. And I think this is just so chic and sophisticated, but I think it's also a little bit sexy, but it like subtle sexy. It's beautiful. Or you could also do both shoulders out also and just wear it halfway like as a wrap. There you go, just like that. You can wear it halfway just like that. What do you guys think about this one? Now I know it's all black, but there is a time and place for all black, I think, especially in the evenings. It can be beautiful. Do you guys just hear my ankle pop? <laughs> I'm gonna show you the same look and I'm gonna put on some flats. And I love heels, but in summer evenings sometimes, um, depending on where you're going, I feel like there's always a time and a place for really 
beautiful intricate flat sandals and I'm going to show you a pair and then we're going to do this outfit with it. Now if you want to see it like super clear and styled, um, check out my website. The link is right here down below in the description box. It's the first link. Um, I have everything styled and broken down for you guys. Um, so check that out. But I'm going to wear some sandals for you real quick and I'll be back. And I hope you can see really well, but I just switched out the heels for a pair of um, just intricate, detailed, pretty summer sandals. And it would do you some good, especially if you're gonna wear them in the summer and the evening, if they have like a little bit of jewels to them or something that reflects light. That way they catch the light and it just makes it look that much more prettier, especially that much more pretty, especially like in sunset around sunset time. Um, but I switched the heels out for some snake print jeweled sandals. They just wrap around their ankle and I think they're really pretty. Um, with this outfit and a little bit more laid back but just as beautiful and sexy um what do you guys think now i know most of you guys are going to say you love the heels but if you um like these with the sandals too please put your hands up in the comments below come on a little higher yep <laughs> We're on to like the last look with the shirt. I'm gonna style them with some sneakers for you, but first I wanted to talk about this particular combo. Now, this is a little bit controversial, believe it or not, because there are people who don't think like dark denim and black go together. I don't know why. I happen to love it. Now, I could have very, very easily put on the black um, strappy sandals that I've had on throughout the video, but I like this look with another shade of blue, a tone of blue, especially cobalt, which is what I'm wearing here. And I think it kind of gives it something extra. I don't know, you guys might disagree with me. I threw on a headband just because I felt like it was a little plain without it, although you could go without. Um, but I love this. And this I have worn multiple times. It's just dark denim. And, and I feel like the dark denim goes especially well with like the leather because it kind of, it, it, it juxtaposes it as far as making it casual, but it's not like on the other end of the spectrum, it's like too casual, like a light denim t-shirt kind of, you know? The dark denim generally just dresses things up a little bit more. So it's not like super casual, but you're still casual and a little put together, you know? You could wear this on an evening out if you wanted to. Um, I know I would. So I really like this. What do you guys think? I feel like this is going to be controversial a little bit because there seriously are people who don't like, first of all, there are people who don't like blue and black together and then there are people who just don't like dark denim and black together. I don't know how they feel about dark denim <laughs> and black leather. <laughs> well, what do you guys think? I think around here we love it. I hope you agree with me. But if you don't, um, tell us why. <laughs> you can throw on some sunglasses. That'd be really cute. Should we put a pair on? Should we? Shall we? There you go. lose the headband too if you wanted to but I love it with I think it just adds something a little extra or you could do like the black shoes and the headband hey guys I'm telling you you need a white pair of sneakers in your wardrobe if you don't have one get some actually I've linked these exact ones on the website but I like this. I like this a lot. I uh, would probably add a hat, this bucket hat that I've had for years and will have for decades more, probably. <laughs> I'm going to add one more piece, okay? And we're going to see how the, this goes, but I think it'll be beautiful. Now, I know in the U.S. it's summer and 
you're not gonna be able to do this now. I, I, but I guess it depends on which state, right? And like whether you're in the East Coast, West Coast, um, definitely in the Midwest, you might not be able to like wear this jacket. But I have um, people who watch me from other places where it's cooler, like if you're in Kenya, it's kind of rainy season, getting into rainy season, and this might suit you. Um, South Africa too, and maybe France also. I've seen some people from France, hey. <laughs> But I try to throw in something for everybody and you can tailor it. I mean, if I put on a jacket, just don't wear the jacket if it's too hot where you are, you know? But I thought I would put on complete looks. Now we're gonna put on the leather jacket and then we're gonna close this out. Oh, that's chic, you guys. And you can do this with the heels also. you guys leather leggings style five different ways um i mean i could go on and on and on and on and maybe we'll do like another leather um pants uh, styling for like fall um but thank you so much for spending time with me you guys and if you made it this far thank you thank you thank you um like the content of course if you enjoyed it subscribe hit the notification bell so you know when i upload a new video <laughs> um it was great to spend time with you guys now um i have links to everything and when i say everything i mean everything everything is linked in my blog and the reason I did that uh, on my website and the reason I did that is because I find that um, photo links are a little bit easier to navigate right so when you go to my website you'll just hit the link in the description box below go to my website and you don't have to read through to see what you're looking for you'll just see photos of the cami of the shoes of the Tupac t-shirt of the hat of the jewelry or whatever it is you're looking for or sunglasses Everything is photo linked, so all you have to do is hit that photo, not my photo, but the photo of the product, like they're right there, face value, you'll see them, and you'll just hit the link, and it'll take you to where you can buy it. I find that easier than to navigate sometimes like a description box and kind of go and read through and look for, you know, what you're looking for. So I have links on my website, and I also did that because I literally went out and took photos for you guys for each and every one of these outfits. Um, and they came out pretty great and I thought you might enjoy that. I hope you guys appreciate it. And let me know what you think. Is it like a waste of time? You'll watch a video and then um, you'll get all the details you need to get or do you like photos too because then you get a little bit more detail as far as the styling goes, right? Let me know what you guys think and what you prefer but um, the link to my website is right down below. It'll be the first link you see and it will take you straight to my website and everything, and I mean everything you could possibly want to know about all of these looks is there. Thank you so, so much, you guys, and I will catch you on the next style series. Bye.